Hello students, welcome to chapter 11, 3 dimension geometry. So today I continue our plane in the space related exercise 11.3 question number 3. Find the Cartesian equation of the plane for the following given planes in the way of r dot i plus j minus k is equal to 2. Very easy students, I just r i declare in the x i plus y j plus z k dot here i j minus k you will check dot product between x i into i means x y minus z is equal to 2 that's your Cartesian equation of the plane second same here x i y j z k dot 2i 3j minus 4k and here also same simple dot product 2 into xi means twice x i and i i square become 1 plus 3y minus 4z is equal to 1 that's your Cartesian equation of the plane and same students given the third r dot one of the s related equations I just write the question please uh, s minus twice t i next 3 minus t j and 2s plus t k and is equal to 15 and very easy just I mention in the form of x i y z and z k so here this i is x i y j z k dot and here students s minus 2 t i plus 3 minus t j plus 2 s plus t k is equal to 15 as it is simple first with first only dot product so my answer is s minus 2 t x plus 3 minus t y and plus 2s plus tz is equal to 15 and that's your Cartesian equation of the plane it is Cartesian equation of plane students here Cartesian plane you know that Lx plus my plus nz is equal to d now question number continue students fourth questions in the given plane find out foot of perpendicular from the origin yes already you know normal form of the plane that related question now I start here but fourth is a IMP find the foot of perpendicular to the origin in the given plane and in the given plane wise our first question is very simple given the equations r dot the given 2x plus 3y plus 4z minus 12 is equal to 0 2x 3y 4z minus 12 is equal to 0 students very easy already I explained one examples in the last video but here I just go ahead same as to that's your plane z x and y consider here your one of the plane and that is your straight way going here your point P is your foot of perpendicular from origin x1 y1 z1 so you are mentioned here suppose P x1 y1 z1 is foot of perpendicular foot of perpendicular from origin is p x1 y1 z1 very easy foot of perpendicular formula you know that 
एल डी कॉमा एम डी कॉमा एन डी वेर एल एम एन इज वॉट योर डायरेक्शन को साइंस एंड डी इज अ परपेंडिकुलर डिस्टेंस फ्रॉम ओरिजिन दैट्स वाई आई स्टार्ट टू नॉर्मल फर्स्ट दिट्स योर नॉर्मल टू थ्री फोर इनडायरेक्टली टू आई थ्री जे माइनस फोर के एंड इट्स मैग्नीट्यूड टू थ्री फोर इट इज फोर नाइन सिक्सटीन रूट ट्वेंटी नाइन सो यू इजिली कवर योर एन कैप इज अन बाई मॉड्यूलस एन इट इज अ डायरेक्शन को साइंस एल एम एन वैल्यू रेडी एंड दैट्स माई आंसर इज स्टूडेंट्स इज ट्वाइस आई प्लस थ्री जे प्लस फोर के अपॉन रूट ट्वेंटी नाइन दैट्स वाई गिवन प्लेन I just write down my given plane. 2x plus 3y plus 4z is equal to 12. Just divided by root 29 on both the sides. So we dividing root 29 on the both side to the given plane. So 2 by root 29x. 3 by root 29y, 4 by root 29z, and 12 by root 29. That is your finally our Cartesian equation of the plane related given. Compare with Alex plus m y plus n z is equal to d. So your final answer is ready. Required. foot of perpendicular point is p x1 y1 z1 which is ld comma md comma nd that is your l m m at that the d so my answer is students 2 by root 29 into 12 by root 29 comma 3 by root 29, 12 by root 29, and last 4 by root 29, 12 by root 29, and my answer is ready. 24 by 29, next 36 by 29, and next 48 by 29. And here, a simple way. Your first question is done. Now I going ahead. Same parts the B. Equation of plane is given 3y plus 4z minus 6. 3y plus 4z minus 6. One more time check. 3y plus 4z minus 6. So suggestion seems up to that seems only this I change. So drawing same. Suggestion same. You write down and the normal form is that here you can write down. 0x plus 3y plus 4z. 0x plus 3y plus 4z is equal to 6, and that's the normal. You can write down 0, 3, 4, either 0i, comma 3j plus 4k. 0, 3, 4. And simple way, you check the magnitudes. 0, 3, 4. It becomes 0, 9, 16. Root 25 means 5. So n cap you derive after that. In given plane you divide it by the some numbers, and after that students comparing the values, easily get your answers. Other points are same. So n cap, which is n bar, our 0i, 3j, 4k, and what is the n modulus? 5. That's why your direction cosine is ready for downwards phi. So given plane, I have to 0x plus 3y plus 4z is equal to zero. We dividing phi on the both sides. So 0 by phi x, 3 by phi y, and 4 by phi z is equal to 6 by phi, and that is your Just compare with 
एल एक्स प्लस एम वाई प्लस एन जेड इज इक्वल टू टी एल एम एन रेडी एंड लास्ट डी सिक्स बाई फाइव सो रिक्वायर्ड फुट ऑफ परपेंडिकुलर पॉइंट एल डी कोमा एन डी कोमा एन डी एल आई हैव जीरो बाई फाइव डी सिक्स बाई फाइव सेम एम आई हैव थ्री बाई फाइव इंटू सिक्स बाई फाइव एंड लास्ट फोर बाई फाइव सिक्स बाई फाइव सो माई आंसर इज जीरो सिक्स थ्री जो एटीन बाई ट्वेंटी फाइव एंड सिक्स फोर जो ट्वेंटी फोर बाई ट्वेंटी फाइव वेरी इजीली एंड वेरी क्विकली स्टूडेंट्स आई विल डिराइव माई आंसर इज रेडी नाउ क्वेश्चन नंबर कंटिन्यू थर्ड द सी इक्वेशन इज एक्स प्लस वाई प्लस जेड इज इक्वल टू वन सेम इज ट्राई अवर प्लेन वन एक्स प्लस वन वाई प्लस वन जेड इज इक्वल टू वन सिमिलरली गोइंग स्टूडेंट द सजेशन सेम ड्रॉइंग सेम अप टू दैट सेम ओनली यू चेंज द नॉर्मल एंड द नॉर्मल इज वॉट वन आई वन जे वन के इट मीन्स वन 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 इट्स मैग्नीट्यूड सो रूट थ्री एंड गोइंग टू एन कैप इन दिस वे सिंपली यू कैन ड्राइव दैट समथिंग डिवाइडिंग पार्ट्स एंड आफ्टर दैट कंपेयर एंड डेटा इज सेम एज मेन सेम सो हियर एन रूट थ्री सो एन कैप इज अ डायरेक्शन को साइन वन आई प्लस वन जे प्लस वन के बाई रूट थ्री सो इन द गिवन प्लेन वन एक्स वन वाई वन जेड इज इक्वल वन वॉट विल यू आई डिवाइडेड रूट थ्री ये ऑन बोथ द साइड्स सो वी डिवाइडिंग रूट थ्री ऑन द बोथ साइड्स ऑफ द अब प्लेन सो वन बाई रूट थ्री एक्स वन बाई रूट थ्री वाई वन बाई रूट थ्री जेड and here 1 by root 3 but that's your equation of the plane in normal forming so we compare with lx plus my plus nz lx plus my plus nz is equal to d l ready m ready n ready so your foot of perpendicular required points l वन बाई रूट थ्री वन बाई रूट थ्री सेम वन बाई रूट थ्री वन बाई रूट थ्री एंड लास्ट ऑल्सो सेम योर आंसर इज वन बाई थ्री वन बाई थ्री एंड वन बाई थ्री नाउ कंटिन्यू स्टूडेंट्स क्वेश्चन नंबर द फोर्थ नेक्स्ट वन फाइव वाई प्लस एट डी पार्ट्स प्लेन इज गिवन फाइव वाई प्लस एट इज इक्वल टू डी One more time check. 5y plus 8 is equal to 0. 5y plus 8 is equal to 0. So I just write down similarly same steps. Only here I mention in the standard form. 0x plus 5y plus 0z is equal to minus 8. 0x, 5y, 0z, and 8 I will took the right side 8. Now I go to the normal. What is the normal here? Zero i five j zero k. It will zero five zero. Take it modulus. Define the modulus value. It is five. So after that you moving ahead in the way of your final suggestions wise normal n cap. and dividing equation is same as so does this all points are same now n cap n bar by modulus n 0 i 5 j 0 k and n modulus is a 5 so in my given plane that's my given plane 0 x plus 5 y plus 0 z is equal to minus 8 we dividing both sides by 5 Yes, dividing phi on both sides. So zero by phi x, phi upon phi y, zero by phi z is equal to minus eight by phi. And here you will stop. 
and that is represents lx plus my plus nz so students we write down we compare with lx my and z is equal to d and simple we're going the answer required foot of perpendicular lx ld md nd what is your l 0 by 5 minus 8 by 5 comma 5 by 5 minus 8 by 5 comma 0 by 5 minus 8 by 5 and that's become 0 comma minus 8 by 5 comma 0 that's my required points foot of the perpendicular to on that now should us after ending our fourth questions i going that now in the fifth way same is question number 5 also very interesting questions but this time asking vector m cartesian equation of the plane to having passing through given and normal given so in question number 5 find first of all a heading written find vector and cartesian equation of plane having first one given that passing through a a bar directions 1 0 minus 2 and normal n cap given which is i plus j minus k very easy so this every normal is a perpendicular to the plane this is a plane that's your perpendicular so i will just show that this is your plane here your normal n cap which is 1 i j k i plus j minus k so it is here that is a perpendicular to plane and here consider you are one of the points on a to p p is a r bar a is a a bar it means p a directions means what p a means r minus either a p directions dot perpendicular to m so here one of the vector equation of plane simple your a to p dot n is a zero because they are perpendicular a to p is what r minus a dot n and r minus a is r same a is that passing through one i 0j minus 2k dot n is a normal that's the normal given that i plus j minus k that's your vector equation of the plane students so you ap write down because i forward to a to p sides okay now one more the cartesian plane cartesian equation of plane same this equation if i forward again r minus a dot n is equal to 0 it is r dot n minus a dot n in short r dot n is equal to a dot n you putting down the values x y z n is a normal 1 1 1 same a is a passing through that given that 1 0 minus 2 and n is again 1 1 minus 1 and take down the top product you will get lx plus my plus nz is equal to d equation so x plus y minus z your 1 plus 0 plus 2 so x plus y minus z is equal to 3 that's my equation of the plane but cartesian form now second passing through given that and with the normal second questions exactly similarly questions are printed in your textbook yes so passing through 1 4 6 
and normal is given i minus 2j plus k one more time repeat students so normal is what perpendicular to the plane yes this is your plane that's the perpendicular given that so one more time i will show my drawing here your normal perpendicular to plane and here i will show that one of the directions towards p to a sides either a to p sides so they are correct i write down a to p sides so a to p sides means this side you can draw the drawing that one because a and p on the plane and that is perpendicular to normal so here same is going to that vector equation of plane yes a to p dot n zero why dot product zero perpendicular to directions now a to p is r minus a dot n r is same but a is a students simply you apply that 1i 4j 6k dot n is a normal i minus 2j plus k is equal to 0 that's your vector equation of the plane now if i further going to cartesian form yes to cartesian form so i will write down r minus a dot n so r dot n is equal to a dot n and apply the value r is x y z but n students that's the normal 1 minus 2 1 a is a passing through 1 4 6 and n is again that 1 minus 2 1 and apply in the students dot product you will get very easily and very quickly your equation of the plane so i will show just in the dot product so 1x minus 2y plus z is equal to 1 now 4 to the 8 and last 6 1 the 6 so x minus 2y plus z is equal to minus 1 x minus 2y plus z plus 1 is equal to 0 that's your cartesian equation of plane cartesian equation of the plane and very easily students this question is fifth also done now here students topic is continue for the question number six but before six i will show the topic topic is that equation of plane passing through three points a a bar b b bar c c bar having i just show that x1 y1 z1 x2 y2 z2 and x3 y3 z3 consider that your one of the plane forming by the three collinear points no it is known collinear points a to b directions b to c directions and c to a directions and here consider one of the point p in general r bar so you will show that a to p b to p and c to p having made one of the plane but when a b c are known collinear so equation of plane in this vector forming p to a directions p to b directions p to c directions is equal to zero otherwise you can also return the cartesian form this cartesian form x minus x1 y minus y1 z minus z1 x2 minus x1 y2 minus y1 z2 minus z1 and last x3 minus x1 y3 minus y1 z3 minus z1 if you decide derive sure your answer in this form just like lx plus my plus nz is equal to 0 so this related topic students now will start our question number 6 find the equation of plane 
passing through given three points passing through given three points but necessary you will check first this point is what yes non collinear then they are available so question 6 find equation of plane passing through first question a that 1 1 minus 1 b 6 4 minus 5 and c minus 4 minus 2 3 again check 1 1 minus 1 6 4 minus 5 and minus 4 minus 2 comma 3 so does i will first check given points is collinear or non collinear so first i will derive this consider x1 y1 z1 x2 y2 z2 x3 y3 z3 and go to directions first of all a b directions so b minus a 6 for minus 5 1 1 minus 1 my answer is 6 minus 1 5 here 4 minus 1 3 and minus 5 plus 1 minus 4 second direction b c c minus b so your c ready minus b ready what's your c minus 4 minus 2 3 and b is a 6 4 minus 5 and answer is minus 10 next minus 2 minus 4 minus 6 and 3 plus 5 8 check this is a opposite directions just minus 2 common take 5 3 minus 4 so you will write down minus 2 with the your ab for the cover bc it means both have opposite directions one going that sides another this sides definitely it make to it angle 180 it means it is collinear so if you collinear then how many plane derive yes you correct thinking it is infinitely many plane in this space so here ab and bc have opposite direction therefore a comma b comma c are collinear points it means here infinitely many plane available therefore infinite many plane available passing through a b and c so i not utilization this formula because it is collinear if you know collinear then i derive by this way it is question number 2 so i go to now second questions same is moving slowly slowly i hope you understand properly point a b and c you will take x1 y1 z1 x2 y2 z2 and x3 y3 and z3 point is that 1 1 0 second 1 2 1 and third minus 2 2 -1 again check 1 1 0 1 2 1 and -2 2 and minus -1 here also students i will first check it is collinear or non collinear so my first direction is ab b minus a 1 2 1 -1 1 0 my answer is 1 -1 0 Two minus one one, two minus one one, and last one minus zero one. Similarly, students, second direction is BC. So B to C, C minus B. You see that B, and here you create your simple way your answer. And students, you check here it is collinear or non collinear direction between AB and CD. So students, I derive that C minus two, two minus one. 
and B is uh, 1 to 1. So my answer is minus 3, 0 and minus 2. Check having no direction are seen. So here AB and BC have in different direction. There is no common in between that. So have different directions. So confirm A, B, C are non collinear. It means they form a one unique plane. That is the plane A to B, second B to C, third C to A, and that plane is derived by passing through general P R bar. R bar is a x comma y comma z. That plane is derived. That students. So you will write down therefore one and only one plane passing through A B C. So that's why I going now x1 y1 z1 x2 y2 z2 x2 y3 z3 equation of plane x minus x1 y minus y1 z minus z1 x2 minus x1 y2 minus y1 z2 minus z1 and x3 minus x1 y3 minus y1 and z3 minus z1 students you will put down in the answers very easily answer you derive now so just put the value x minus x1 what's your x1 is 1 y minus y1 is 1 and z minus 0 continue now x2 minus x1 is 1 minus 1 2 minus 1 and 1 minus 0 now x3 minus x1 minus 2 minus 1 now 2 minus 1 and minus 1 with 0 minus 1 with 0 2 minus 1 and minus 2 minus 1 so does i just calculate that determinant my answer is here 0 minus 3 1 1 1 and minus 1 so you will calculate by the process of definitions of determinants very easily you derive your answer so here first x minus 1 minus 1 minus 1 it is minus 2 second 0 plus 3 and last 0 plus 3 your answer is minus 2x plus 2 minus 3y plus 3 and 3z so minus 2x minus 3y 3z plus 5 3 and 2 5 so my answer is 2x plus 3y minus 3z minus 5 is equal to 0 and here students your this answers is easily 2x plus 3y minus 3z is equal to 5 printed in your book yes students here i ending this question second question number six to second i will stop this video students and this topic is over here and further explanation same as i explain you in the next part for new parts bye bye